pond of fish down there right now. Might be the most fish I've ever seen below spillway before. Lined with bluegills and carp. Well, let's go down there and try and catch them. Happy 4th of July. Thank you to everybody who served. It is July 4th. Which means we are avoiding Allegheny State Park, we're avoiding Chautauqua Lake, and we're avoiding the Kinzu like the plague. Um, this time of year, particularly on the holiday weekends during the summer, there's just so many people at those locations. And especially on the 4th, there's fireworks and stuff going off, and it really freaks the fish out. So today we came east to Allegheny County. I don't think I passed a vehicle my entire way here from my house. And you can see nobody else is fishing. I don't even want to know what the Quakers spillway looks like today. But um, yeah, out here in Allegheny County, things are a lot more chill, not as many tourists. We're going to start off here at the spillway, but we're going to make our way around the county. From here, we might head up to the Genesee River and then uh, maybe one of the lakes. I see fish just swimming everywhere down here. It's crazy the amount of fish that are in here. Look like mainly carp and panfish, which uh, I'm not really rigged up for. I don't have any live bait with me, but I have some Berkeley gulp, so we can try catching the carp. And uh, I've got plenty of tackle for bass. And, uh, and I have confirmed that while I do indeed hang out down here as well, so, um, yeah, we'll fish it for a couple hours, see what we catch fish. Didn't take long. Got it on the board anyway, a little bluegill. Are you a bluegill or a green sunfish? Oh, just a little regular little bluegill. So, um, I just happen to have this Castmaster spoon tied on, so I guess we do got a chance at catching panfish on one of these little spoons. Oop, went a little bit farther than I wanted it to. There we go. <laughs> Look at all those carp, man. It is crazy the amount of fish that are down here today. Another little bluegill. This one's even smaller than the last one, I think. Alrighty. First large mouth on the spinner bait. First cast with the spinner bait, too. Uh oh. Come here, buddy. Kids came down as well. Oh, let them go. Just a little guy. Good first cast with the spinner, though. Got on something big now. Oh, it came off. <laughs> Holy cow. I think I must have snagged into a carp, is my guess. Oh, yeah, there's a scale. <laughs> yeah, we snagged into a carp just then. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the scale on the hook. That's funny. I think it was taking my drag for a ride. I just broke off on a fish after breaking off on a snag, and I realized the problem here. Check this out. When I pull on these two lines here on my top eyelet, it just breaks. <laughs> my, uh, my top guide has got a crack in the plastic liner, and uh, yeah, my line's, just, my line's just breaking on me. It's just slicing it like that so um so yeah this rod is officially out of commission today i put on this little berkeley gulp thing in hopes of trying to catch one of these carp when they swim by but i have not seen the carp school swim by since uh since i put this gulp thing on so i was just kind of having it chilling on shore waiting for one to swim by problem is if i drop this in the main water yeah, i just pick up a bluegill in two seconds there's so many bluegills in here right now. So I guess we're going to switch back to throwing lures. Um, this rod is a, a slow action, so not the best for throwing bass lures. Um, not the kind of bass lures that I want to throw anyway, but um, it's all we've got down here, so I'm going to have to make it work. Oh, heck yeah. Hey, check it out. I got my lure back from earlier. Yes, I got my tube back. <laughs> This is the tube that I broke off on earlier. Cool, awesome, sweet. Okay, it's good to get that line out of the water too. Yeah, there's my tube, leader, everything's still tied, just broke at the top of the rod. That was uh, not a line defect, that was a fishing pole defect. Happens, I guess. It's very, very old rod, so. I shouldn't say very, very old. It's like three years old, but the way I beat the heck out of it, you know. Got on another largemouth. So much harder to hook on this slow action rod. <laughs> you gotta really set the hook 
I'm using monofilament line too, so there's just so much give. That's why I missed that last fish. I don't know, it's a small one, but I'll take it. Thanks for catching something down here. Once that sun starts to get less brutal, we'll probably head to the Genesee River. Just targeting the wrong species. Carp seem to be the predominant thing down here today. And um, with all the commotion down here now, I think the bass and game fish have kind of been spooked out. As you can see, it's getting kind of dark out. The clouds have rolled in, so um, that means that uh, the Genesee River um, might be picking up. So uh, I think that's where we are going to head to. Um, now that it's overcast, hopefully the fishing there will be decent. Howdy folks, welcome back to Cray Outdoors. Today we are back on Chautauqua Lake. I'm with my buddies Travis and Dustin. Of course this is Dustin's boat, so I guess I gotta give him credit for taking us out here today. Um, it is the day after 4th of July. We're out here pretty early and uh, everybody else I guess was out like partying and drinking and stuff last night because there's like no boats out here, which um, is nice for a holiday weekend. But again, 4th of July is kind of a party holiday, so so uh, hopefully they'll be biting today now that things are sort of calm out here. And we do have a real official musky net now. Um, I haven't posted the other video yet, but I already know we're going to get hate for not having a net big enough because that's how musky fishermen are. But we have a real musky net now. So yeah, Dustin finally invested in one. So um, we'll... Travis is actually going to be the net man if, uh, if we get on one. Blame yeah, exactly. <laughs> We, uh, we switched over to bass mode, and it uh, looks like Dustin hooked up on the first cast. Nice. Nice. Cool. Well, we are now officially on the board. Gar grabbed my bait. Let's see if I can hook him. No, oh, no, he left, he dropped it. He definitely looked at it. He's interested, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, that time he wasn't interested. The first time, he's turned right on it. He turned right on it, and... And I don't know if he bit it or not. He followed it all the way to the bottom if he didn't bite it. Alrighty, we're finally on the board. I'm finally on the board. Dustin's on the board. We're on the board. Now I'm on the board. So, cool. Hit on this uh, beaver bait. I know, it's not that big of a fish. Every time I try telling Travis Salamanca lumber stories, and uh, that's when the fish bite. Alright, my second bass. You bit hard. Come on. Here we go. Small fish, but that was the funnest bite I've had in a while, actually. Holy cow. Bit like a ton of bricks. It ain't that big. <laughs> it felt big just because it's been a while. I haven't been catching many fish lately. I can't flip them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to use the musky net anyway. <laughs> I exaggerated the size a little bit because I, I was excited. It's been a while since I've had a hit. We are currently underneath a bridge. We just ate lunch in Bemis Point, but we're underneath a bridge. We're underneath the bridge. <laughs> the only bridge over is the Lake. Um, hiding out the thunderstorm. Three pounder. Three pound musk stick. With a leaf trout attached. Multi-species fishing. The bass in this lake do fight, I give them that. Every fish I initially think it's bigger than it is. This is the biggest of the day so far though. For me. Jeepers creepers, dude. This fish is the wiliest fish I think I've ever caught. Normally when you grab them by the mouth, like it puts them in a trance. That one it just... I, that, that one was... Man, he needs to be part of the X-Men or something. Well, we're here to pick up Benji. We lost Travis, now we're picking up Benji. And it uh, looks like he's doing just fine without us. Pop he's got a big in. old fat old crappie. <laughs> <laughs> <You missed. laughs> nice. Yeah, Benji was telling us that the crappie bite's been hot here, so... Oh, tonight, I guess, we'll be heading out here. <laughs> but for now, we're gonna go fish for musky and stuff. Are we? Cause, uh, or do we want to stay here and pop crappy? <laughs> I don't have any of my panfish stuff. Little guy, but hey, yeah, it's a fish. They fight. They're fighters today. I don't know why. The warm water, I guess, has got them, got them in a feisty mood. Hey, uh, just pulled out another one. Wow. Ah! <laughs> He's a flopper. These fish are not wanting to cooperate today either. Feisty fish today. See you, buddy. Throw it in the live well. 
Then she got his first fish. Stole Dustin's bass. He spoke up. He said, oh, that's a bass. So I cast it in the vicinity that he was casting and pulled out his fish. I don't know if that was actually what happened. I didn't see where the fish boiled, but... I told you it by the... <laughs> yeah, we, get, we got yelled at by somebody for fishing too close to their inner tube. I should have filmed that. Whenever you see someone walking down the dock, you should just turn it on. <laughs> makes me want to cast closer. Yeah, that's a hook in the net. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't care. I don't have to get it off. Alright, see you later, Mr. The bass. The Alright, Benji with his first bass of the day. I'm a Twister Dad. Do not Google Twister Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twister's own. I know, they're such fighters. They're fighting like smallmouth is what it is. These largemouth are fighting like smallmouth. I missed one right underneath that red boat. <laughs> I wish I was filming that. I got this one in, in a jiffy. <laughs> I ripped that one in. I don't know how big it was. I wanted to make sure I had a good hook set. Fish are fighting very hard today. For whatever reason, it's a hard, hard day of fighting. Yep. I might have to bend this barb down. I'm having a hard time unhooking every one of these fish. Alrighty. See you later, Mr. Bass. <laughs> Dustin had the hit. He might hit again, he might hit again. Get back there, get back there. Muskie are stupid, remember. Made it back to the launch point. As you can see, there's some fireworks going off. People are just launching them right in the firework, uh, right in the parking lot, which is kind of funny. But uh, it is the day after 4th of July, so there's fireworks going off all over around the lake just from random people firing them. Alrighty, well, we're calling it quits here. Benji's taking home this 112 inch crappie that he caught right next to, right off the dock while he's waiting for us, which is kind of funny. Um, and uh, we caught some bass, so it was a fair day of fishing. So. Definitely time to get out of here though. You've been up for, what, 24 hours straight or something like that? Yeah, I've yeah. 30, 33 now. 33 hours straight. <laughs> I worked last night and we stayed up all day. That's crazy. Well guys, thanks for watching. I'll probably just combine this with yesterday's July 4th video. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next fishing adventure. Unfortunately, we didn't get to shoot any carp today either, but eventually bow fishing video is going to be coming as well.